we got a Dr. Insanity with a video, y'all. I on this beautiful Friday morning. Uh, it's morning when I'm shooting this video. It's like uh, eight seventeen, my nigga. I ain't have to work today, so I said, <laughs> yeah, I did get a video earlier today. Man, still, you know what I'm saying? We still and happy November the first. Uh, all this month's session shit almost over with. So, you know, so I thank God. You feel me? Um, the fastest arrest in police history. I won't be surprised if I'm up here. Actually, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just play. <laughs> Let's go. Ahead. Get into it. Let me see. Claimed that his McDonald's fries were cold, but when police ran a check, they realized he was actually a wanted murderer on the run. After talking to the cop, the store manager tells him that he's happy to give him a refund as long as he never steps foot in his store again. But as the nigga is in McDonald's, bro, nobody's not going. Step back in your sofa. I ain't, cause to be honest with y'all, y'all gonna think I'm like, I ain't ate McDonald's in like seven, eight years, bro. Dead ass. Active ran Antoine's name through the system. He discovered the last thing he expected on such a simple call. Go around to the person, caution, violence, armed and dangerous. There was an arrest warrant out for murder on the very same guy that called the police in the first place. It turns out Antoine had been arrested after setting a car on fire with a woman still inside, but failed to show up to court to enter his final plea. Miraculously, though, he decided to lead the police right to him. All the cops had to do was... What a dummy, for one. You driving a car like that, but I would have sold that car, but I would have been in somewhere in Canada by now. I would have been in Canada, Mexico. You calling the police about some motherfucking fries, cops? McDonald's fries, nigga, at that? You know them bitches is good. Taking down. I get mad. Let's come around by these lines real quick. I said, I'm not under arrest. No, no, no. So let's part out. Can I see it, sir? Yeah. Can you come over here, man? No, I'm not afraid of Hey, you know, hey. <laughs> hey, that nigga know, cuz he know. Why are you doing that? I know how to feel Why are you doing that? I know how to feel I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. No, let's get it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? I know how to feel it out. Why are you doing that? I know how to feel it out. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. No, let's get it. Oh my god. Car, 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 car. Bro, y'all let him go back in the Come on, let, let him got back in the car? Car, 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 car. The officer managed to get in range of Antoine and stunned him, allowing them to apprehend him very easily and very quickly. Antoine was charged with murder, criminal trespass, and hindering law enforcement, and thrown in jail, ensuring he'd never be able to escape again. Antoine definitely was old enough to know better, but the suspects in this next case weren't even old enough to be in high school. On April 11, 2022, police received reports of a car stolen from Bayshore Mall. An hour later, an officer spotted the vehicle... I bet you some niggas in there. I just seen the kill. I bet you some niggas in there. And lit it up before it immediately floored it and a chase began. Two flat tires on the drive side. Long lanes on the side side. Yeah, there's no traffic. I'm going to tell you traffic. Make sure y'all get my last previous seven, eight, ten videos. A thumbs up, comment, no matter if it's an emoji. Same with this video. Earlier, the police managed to hit the vehicle with a stop stick, a device used to puncture the tires of a fleeing vehicle and slow it down. The officers managed to confirm it hit two of the car's tires, but the driver isn't slowing down, even after the car started to literally fall apart. Coming to a red light at Bender and Port. Nearly this vehicle slid out of control. 
told you. I told you. I fucking told you. The vehicle spins out right as a second patrol car converges on them, but the suspects ditch the car and flee on foot. In total, seven people leave the car, but both officers decide to chase down the driver, who ran to the left. We are running behind the eight. Northbound. Police! Stop! I'm releasing the dog! Driver. Black male. Red sweater. Throughout the chase, though, officers radioed in the locations of other suspects, allowing... And there's this really cool website, sendthevote.com. That makes it easy. More officers to try finding and arresting all seven suspects. Obviously, this girl doesn't exactly look dressed for a high-speed pursuit. And as officers would quickly find out, she was just 13 years old. One by one, all seven suspects from the car were quickly captured. Oh, let's go! Damn, her scene is crazy. Despite the arrests not being instant, the cops did an incredible job at tracking, capturing, and arresting seven separate suspects at once in record time. After they were all rounded up, it became clear that all the suspects were children under the age of 16, with the youngest being just 12. They also admitted that the entire reason for stealing a car and escaping the cops was for a TikTok challenge. It's a miracle these kids didn't injure themselves or anyone else on the road. Many people could have died if the driver had just simply fallen asleep at the wheel, just as professional football player Marshawn Lynch did, literally. Still Cops found Marshawn sleeping in his car that was in undrivable condition. The front side wheel had no rim or tire, and both the passenger side tires were about to fall off. Officers could smell alcohol inside the vehicle, and given the state of both Marshawn and his car, Damn. had to assume that he'd been driving under the influence, had an accident, and fallen asleep at the wheel. However, the officers couldn't investigate any further if he didn't get out of the car, which Marshawn refused to do. You're going to be charged with obstructing the investigation. That is a criminal offense, and you will go to jail. Yeah, we're not going to... There's not... Kind at least Marshawn won't be charged with resisting arrest, as he probably went down easier than anyone ever shown on this channel. Tests showed Marshawn's blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit, and he's facing charges of DUI and driving an unregistered vehicle. Somehow, though, this bank robber managed to go down even quicker. The cops were so well prepared, he didn't even have a chance to resist. In July of 2023, Ohio police received a break-in alarm from a nearby bank. Upon arriving at the scene, there were no apparent signs of a break-in, but after looking a little closer, officers saw a flashlight beam shining through the ceiling. They positioned themselves where they thought he would try and escape from, and waited for him to come to them. As the robber fell through the ceiling, he was greeted by two officers pointing their weapons directly at him and fell directly into the trash. Despite the severity of the crime, though, this robber was only arrested once and likely spent a long time in jail. Devin Whitmer, however, managed to get himself caught a total of 24 times, with this being the fastest. On May 13th, a patrol officer found Devin hanging around some houses in his local area where he would try an unusual strategy to avoid another arrest. Mr. Whitmer? What's that? Devin? Devin. Well, do you recognize me? Do you um do you have ID on you? I know you I know you have a twin. Did you talk to somebody over across from Lee Garden about a couple days ago? Do you have ID on you? Nigga, I wish I would have had a twin, cause I would have blamed everything on that nigga. 
Ah, 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 Yeah, he claims to actually be his twin brother Kevin, but this did not fool officers for long, as his tattoos were a dead giveaway. So given he has a warrant out, the police tell him they're going to arrest him, something Devin wasn't happy about at all. This, this is why niggas be so dumb, man. When you go to jail, cuz, police take pictures of all the tattoos, man. I watch some tattoos, like, that's why if, if you didn't been on a drill or, you know what I'm saying, and did something, why it's best to have a long sleeve like this. Or, you know what I'm saying? Because police got pictures of your tattoos, guys. If you've been arrested, you know that. Yeah. They get to a foul, bro, and then we die, dude. Uh, so three niggas from you. They get to the hole, you wouldn't get me die, dude. Fuck the fuck, dude. After a short struggle involving pushing and spinning, Devin was on the ground in handcuffs just a minute after being correctly identified as their suspect. Devin continued to struggle until he was placed into a patrol car, but it ultimately amounted to nothing other than adding an extra charge. By far the most dramatic and quick arrest, though, has to be that of Taylor Williams, who managed to turn such a... Come on, now. Nah. It gotta be my people. Why? Damn, man. My people all on this list, uh... Damn, we that dumb? God damn, man. Simple request into something much more serious. Y'all are racist as hell. Y'all didn't do shit. Police were called. Ever since they started driving, my anxiety has skyrocketed. Mom. Be safe. Okay, love you. A win is a win. A win is a win. I don't care what y'all say. A win is a win a house party over a trespassing investigation. This is where they met Taylor, who explained how, after some disagreements, the owner kicked her out of the party. Well, she, she got on that goddamn cloud. It must be Halloween. She lied. The motherfucker lied. I, 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 I stereotype, nigga. I, I know a lie when I see one. <laughs> the sounds of the video strong, damn, like but soon it became obvious exactly why she was asked to leave. There was no fight that happened tonight? No! Okay. Mucky, did you go talk to the other security guard? I don't care if security guards are racist. I don't give no fuck what they say. Okay. They don't say shit again because I don't live here. Okay. That Mexican ass bitch right there. I was hey. trying to talk. I don't care. Nah, that's racist. How you how you gonna call somebody else racist, bro? You used to live to that Mexican. That's racist. This is just like me saying that black ass bitch. I know, but here's the thing. That's crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You don't want to be causing the scene with everyone. Uh, well, I am because y'all not listening to me because y'all not going to do nothing. Because the last time we got into all the... Bro. She didn't even let them do what they fucking going to do. Like, bro, how you... Y'all didn't do nothing. What am I doing right now? After arguing with one police officer, she quickly leaves to start drama with more of the people at the event. Right now, the cops have no immediate reason to press charges. They just want her off the property so things can get back to normal. But when she comes back and refuses to calm down, they have to resort to more serious measures. Y'all getting on the wrong people. Y'all y'all trying to tell me I'm the bad guy. When you see him cursing me out, but he kept talking to me. But what he called me a bitch though? Okay, but then you need to ban him. Okay, because he called me a bitch. I don't get no... He's drunk. He's drunk. No, I'm trespassing. He's drunk. And I'm trespassing. But, I, but they let me in that bitch with your drunk ass. Look at him. Ma'am, I'm going to explain the legal justification to you. I don't Security. Get that's it. Okay, but at the same time, they said that she was here first, and they kept letting her in and out. Y'all are racist as fuck, and I'm going to tell. I don't get no fun. Y'all are racist. Hell, because when I press charges, y'all didn't do shit. Y'all okay, let them do whatever they want to do. Property and y'all let them do coke in that bitch. Okay, if you're refusing to leave, that's fine. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll leave. leave. I'll I'll leave. leave. I'll How you gonna tell them to goddamn cuff you up and then tell, then say I'll leave? Baby, it's it's over with. The police don't play no, no type of whole act. I'm like, you, bruh. They don't show with all people. 
White people can play like that. We can't play like that. Uh huh. Huh. Arrest me then. Arrest me then. Walking up to the police. Arrest me then. Hey, the police don't play that shit. Like. The police don't play that shit with us. Y'all let, let them do whatever they want to do. Let them do coke in that bitch. You can, you are. Oh, she's snitching now, bro. I ain't hear that part. Too busy talking. She snitching us. Okay, arrest me then. Okay. If you're refusing to leave, that's right. I'll, I'll, I'll leave. leave. Oh, it's too late. Go. Oh, oh, I'll let you leave. Get me out. You all get let me leave. The arrest itself didn't last long at all, but it was still enough time for Taylor to snag herself two counts of aggravated battery to a police officer. The state of pickleball right now is hyper competitive. There's a lot of people with very simple. Absolute garbage. The most corrupt. How? Bro, like I said, the end, the end of the video, girl. I'm telling you, the police do not play with us when it comes to shit like this. Like, they tell you to leave your car, leave. It ain't that, like, at the end of the day, <clears throat> stay on someone that's, you know what I'm saying, trespassing. They tell you to leave and leave. And she got two counts of police, whatever that shit is, a sort of a police officer. <sighs> Bro, you better off just hand them a uh, heat. She probably did, though. That, them charges higher than a motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> charges like that be high. Instruction of an officer is high. I could only imagine what that is, how much that is. I know that probably in the thousands. That's terrible. You might get do some jail time for that one. I don't know. It depends. It, it depends, though. Because she like she was intoxicated. But don't, my people, bro, don't play with the police like this. When, when they tell you to leave, don't be like, well, and they say, real arrest me then. Well, I mean, if they say, God damn, if you don't leave, we're going to arrest you. Don't, don't go at them and say, well, arrest me then. Well, arrest me then. Because they going to fucking arrest you, bro. And they, they, black people don't got that type of goddamn, you know what I'm saying, that, that type of, you know. You know, just going on. It, it's never that serious, bro. Never that serious to be somewhere. Like, dude from the McDonald's, bro, he could have just left. He could have even went to McDonald's, bro. You went to, this nigga got caught at McDonald's, bro. I'm done. I just thought about it. That shit just made me mad. He got caught at McDonald's, man. What the fuck? Finish.